risky because you never know how long you're gonna spend in there. Bonjour you beautiful people, Fell here. This time we are going to take a look at a game that definitely took me by surprise and out of nowhere made me sing a few good hours into vigorously holding left and right click. Strafing, kiting, jumping, dashing and looting. Risk of Rain 2. It's a game I did not know almost anything up till a few weeks ago, only to find out later on that it actually was pretty big for a moment on YouTube and actually has some fun YouTubers covering it. Right, so... Puppy. Okay, I'm puppy. Go! Oh, I don't even come down, just... Okay, I'm sleep. Cute boy. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Puppy's gonna be a good time. He can jump on everything. That's what he do. You know, he just... He jump, he hop, he go. To be honest, the moment I got it, it immediately piqued my interest and I just couldn't wait to try it out. And try it out I did. It's a roguelike game, where you choose from a variety of unlockable characters with various abilities and traverse procedurally generated levels in order to find helpful gear. Helpful in a sense that it would help you survive the intense hordes of enemies that know no rest and will come after you all the bloody time. The gear is also random, so yeah, it gets crazy pretty easily. Especially when you also take into consideration that the items and the effects stack. So a pile of chunks of meat that regenerate health can be a very distinct difference between life and death. And multiple pairs of sunglasses that increase critical chance will make you not only look extremely cool, but also transform you into a little terminator. The game has a very interesting mechanic where it has this little counter in the top right corner showing you all the time you have spent on the current run and that the difficulty will increase and how soon. So the difficulty does not exactly correspond to the number of levels you finish but the actual time you spend in the game. Sure, the game gets repeatable very quickly having constantly all the same enemies, biomes and challenges, but the randomness can keep every run pretty fresh, keeping the player curious on what they will get this time, and curious to try out the other characters, as they are definitely unique, ranging from gun crazy Louis Armstrong and cybernetic Katniss Everdeen, to a skinned dog and a potted plant. A fine assortment of individuals, I dare say. In addition to that, the cell shaded graphics will not age easily and are very pleasant to the eyes of the players, especially those who like games like Borderlands. And oh god, I love Borderlands. If it wasn't for the chaos and the randomness that happens when you choose the hardest difficulty, which, as I mentioned earlier, scales even more with time, I probably would have dropped it after the first run, as I am not a big fan of constantly trying to crank up my high scores, time after time after time. But, but 
Yeah. Randomness might actually be my key. 